Okay. Why does it feel like last weekend was a long time ago? The ending was Tanjiro getting ready to slice Gutaro's head. Yeah. Because Tengen just removed his legs. With water breathing. Yeah. I mean, we could see it in the starting screen. The one wife shot all those little knives and they all had wisteria laced on them. Yeah. I know what that is now, by the way. We did some rewatching. Yeah. But yeah, he, uh, when he got hit, he couldn't regenerate right away. I doubt it's permanent, though. I'm trying to think, like, do you think Tanjiro takes his head off, but he still lives because of the connection with Daki? Or do you think, like, he's just not even getting his head taken off? I want to say he gets his head taken off. Really? But it's not it. Like, he doesn't die from it. Yeah, the way I see it, like, I see three options. One, he takes the head off and still lives because of Daki. Two, he just can't cut through the neck with water breathing. He's not a strong enough user of it. Because we've seen in the past, there's demon slayers that couldn't fully cut through the neck of a demon. Yeah. And the third option is probably that the wisteria only like temporarily reduces the regeneration. And on an upper demon, it's probably so powerful that it literally lasts like a second. Yeah. And he probably like instantly regrows his legs and gets out of the way or something. I don't know. Those are my three guesses. I'm going with the second one. He that he just can't cut through his head. Yeah. One thing we missed in our last video was Daki's third eye that appeared on her forehead was actually Gyutardo's other eye. I didn't notice that he only had one eye the whole time he was fighting Tengen and Tanjiro. Is he weakened because of it or does it not really matter for him? I don't know. From what it looks like at least, she can just see what he's seen and he could see what she's seen. I don't know if there's much else to it or not, but their attacks are like way too coordinated to... Yeah. That means something. So much is happening. Yeah. Where do I look? Predictions for this episode. So I have one, maybe not for this episode, but like episodes coming, maybe. Okay. One of the three, Tanjiro, Inosuke, or Zenitsu, gets sliced by a blood sickle with poison lace. You know, because poison's laced through it, I guess. Like Tengen gives his last antidote to <laughs> one of them, and he can't use it for himself because he is being affected by the poison. Mm -hmm. So you see. Do you so think he like, has an antidote still? I don't know. Like he might just still have like one left or something. I feel like there's going to be like a do I save myself or do I save someone else situation and he saves someone else. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's interesting. We've never seen him if he has like a certain quantity or not. We just saw him use the one on his wife. Yeah. And the other thing too, but does the antidote even work? Because the poison that his wife drank was just like a man-made poison just so Daki wouldn't eat her. Yeah. What is Gutato's poison? I was wondering if Nezco's flames could neutralize the poison. It'd be so cool. Because it's of like demon origin. So if it's like, if it infects a human, maybe she can like burn it out of them. I don't know. One thing I couldn't get over from the Mugen train arc was the way she woke Inosuke up. It was like the dream state they were all put in was like a type of curse, I want to say. I'm just going to choose that word for it. It was probably something different. But she was able to like snap Inosuke out of it by burning him. But we know her flames don't affect humans. So it's like there's some type of like demon connection or something there. And she kind of like got rid of it. There's demon poison and it's in a person. She could probably burn it out of their system without hurting them. Yeah. That's She might be a key player in that aspect. But the scary thing about that is how she'll be when she gets up. <laughs> Hopefully back to normal. Yeah. Or, you know, our version of normal. Happy demon. Happy demon. I think my prediction going into this is that somebody, it's, it's really hard for me to like pin it on a certain character, but somebody's going to get like a near fatal injury where if like it doesn't get treated, they could die. And that's all I got, really. I mean, pretty much going into this, it's just crazy fights happening all over the place. And we're going to get this going. Oh, so they're both going for him. Okay. Because the last episode ended with Tanjiro's sword, like, right at his neck. But we didn't really see if Tengen was, like, up close either. Yeah. Now I'm, like, 100% convinced that he's just going to regenerate and jump out of the way. I feel like we have to see Gitaro lose his head, but not die because of Daki being yeah. alive. I feel like we have to see that because we've seen her lose her head, like, multiple times now. It's become a meme at this <laughs> point. If, like, Zenitsu takes her head off in this episode, I'm done. <laughs> At that point, like, grab her head and just run. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't know what that would do, but it might change something. 
Oh, here we are. Okay, so there goes your theory. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> one Neither one of the wives. wives. So his family grave. Yeah, so it was just for all his siblings. I don't like that death flag. I haven't died yet. Not a fan of that right there. How can he not? Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I think Tengen wants them to act the way they want to. They're all acting like two, I guess, serving. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Like they keep calling him Lord Tengen and everything. I think he just wants them to enjoy themselves. Yeah. There's meaning behind why he's the way he is. He's really just trying to live it up. Yeah. But he thinks he's going to hell. I don't think he's a bad person. No. Makio looked so mad. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Jeez. She crying. <laughs> it's such a weird dynamic. But well, they all really care about him. It's pretty cool to see. Oh, yeah. Yep, there it is. Damn it. Does that mean it's not going to work anymore, period? This don't look good. No. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Kind of copying each other yeah. a little bit. Does he have Tanjiro? Aki, stay out of this. Oh no. Um... Oh no. He's lost this cool now. Tanjiro um, needs to save her. Please. They'll tell me they showed that like fun moment back then just for her to die. Oh, these are setting up all the wives for death right now. I don't like this at all. These flashbacks. I'll take everything from this guy. Mm -mm. <laughs> or maybe just the one wife. Yeah. Maybe he has like a more special connection to her. Seems like she's kind of being like singled out, you know. Oh. So she's talking like retirement. Yeah. It's like if we ever defeat an upper demon, we we did good enough. Which you know what? I think that's fair. Oh no. Do something. What do we got? I don't like this. It's gonna be too late, isn't it? Come on, new technique or something. Yeah, he's not even acknowledging him. Unpredictable. What do we got? What's this gonna do to him? Yeah. Alright. What is it? What just happened? Can it... No. Oh. What just happened? Did he like combine them? It literally looked like he combined both breathing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What? Never saw that coming. <laughs> so used to water breathing maybe for like movement and then the Agata for striking? That's interesting. 
So like switching back and forth could like conserve energy if you think about it instead of just always using sun breathing. If you can use water breathing to close the distance, I'd even consider that a possibility. And at least use it. Yeah. Okay. Here he is. Oh, this is this is too much. What is about to happen? Like, here? where's Docky, right? <laughs> Hopefully, she's occupied. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's Docky. <laughs> it's such a weird thing to like notice. Okay, so that that's the importance there. He's like, he's about to do it, so we have to do it. Come on, it's easy, guys. <laughs> She's lost it like three times. That is true, actually. I am all with season two and the two, Me man. Too. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. A whole different person. Oh, from both sides. He got he got his weapons in, huh? He looks like it. Yeah. How are they gonna beat this guy? He has them trapped. What the heck? What is this? <laughs> He's going to slash them without. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dang, he just called her out. You see that? <laughs> Is this tone of voice just completely different? Right. Dude, everyone's going off right now. Both of them? <laughs> oh, you know, take it and run with it. Yeah, we like quick thinking. <laughs> so it's all about speed, huh? That just tells me Zenitsu gets the... Killing blow. Ooh. Oh, this is the first time we've really got this, and I've been wanting it for so long. <laughs> oh. Footwork. <laughs> Underling. <laughs> Still not giving that up, huh? It's his moment, okay? Wow. Like everything I wanted. Mm, I know. Look at him go. <laughs> yep. He's got in. He's up close now. Please do. <laughs> you just think they're beat up. There's a strategy to it. Yep. Oh. Yep. <laughs> they got her. Now grab, now grab it and run. Yeah. Get that thing far away. You just run with that head. But it's not going to be enough, is it? <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, let's go. So as long as they play keep away with their head, if they take off Gutaro's head, it's over. 
<laughs> Go help the old guy. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't think this was actually the plan. This is amazing. I was kidding. <laughs> that is, this is so... Holding her in. That is so incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh. There's no way. <laughs> he missing an arm? It looked like it. Don't do what is happening here. Dude, there's no way. Dude, look at the poison on his arm. No. There's no way. <laughs> there's no way they did us like that. Um, the nose thing? I don't buy it. But how does he survive that? Tengen's arm? Yeah, what happened? It looked like the poison spread too much for him. You saw that? Wow. So like when Zenitsu was yelling for Tanjiro at the end, you saw like that pink stuff? Yeah. What was that? That looked like the blood demon art attack, attack, <laughs> attack that Daki did when she took out all those civilians. Okay. It looked like that. And then Tengen lost an arm. And the poison looks like it's spreading bad. I, so Tanjiro said he couldn't see clear enough. I'm wondering if that's because his heart wasn't stabbed. Like, they kind of made it look like it at first, but it might have been right next to his heart. It looks centered. Yeah, so it looks like it's just a really, really bad injury that could lead to death, but it's not like an instant fatal death. You know what I mean? I don't think Inosuke is dead, but I think he's dying. It's going to be such a win. Uh... I was they, Thank you, Taro shows up. How did they do that? I was like laughing and having a great time. And now I'm like miserable. <laughs> well, I don't want to be right. <laughs> like my prediction, like someone one of the three. Yeah, so remember when we said right. that someone <laughs> when I said someone's going to get hurt? I didn't think to that extent. <laughs> and I'm a little worried about Zenitsu too right now, because he pushed Tanjiro out of the way of that attack. And we didn't exactly see what was gonna happen. It looked like he was out of the way of it, thankfully, but Was he still asleep? I think so. He is asleep, but I think he's also, like, aware of what's going on. Mm -hmm. He needs some type of post-discussion, <laughs> but man. I'm sad. Do you think any of them actually die? Well, I think Tengen might. He really does not look good at all. But I need, if that's the case, I need Gitaro and Daki to die. I can't have I know, them get away. I know. If we're going to lose a Hashida again, it needs to be... An exchange. Yeah. I think the same. I think Tengen's in trouble. I think Inosuke is savable. I think I think his heart was missed. Because, like, when it showed Tanjo looking at him, it showed his back. It looked like the stab was, like, in the center of his back. Not so much on his left side. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold out hope that his heart was missed. But it, he, he will die if nothing happens to the injury. Although there is the other big problem, too. His blades are poison. I know. So Inosuke has been poisoned too. Yeah. So there's some type of neutralizing of the poison that has to happen. I'm going to add to my theory. Maybe Nezuko burns it out of them, but another way, if Gyutaro dies, will the poison dissipate? Is it like part of him? Hmm, like it disintegrates you know what I along mean? with his body? <laughs> yeah. I'm holding out hope that Nezuko can save both of them. That would be so cool. I really don't have much to add to this. I'm... We're, we're sad. <laughs> I'm sad. Next episode has to be when the fight ends. What was it? Uh, what was the title? Never give up. Never give up. 
still standing by the fact that Gutaro and Daki are gonna die. I still think they're done. I know it looks really bad right now, but there's no way. You have to progress the story. An upper demon dying would do so much to the story to take it into a direction. If they just do Mugen Train V2, it's kind of like, yeah, who's next? <laughs> what, what, what Hashidas are going to get taken out? <laughs> All right. We're going to wrap this up now. Yeah.